Vegito! Let me show you how far more you can go! Well, <laughs> how you guys feel about the reveals and stuff today? Because, you know, it was definitely one for the books. I'm going to be honest, you guys. Uh, today's video, I'm just going to be breaking down my thoughts, opinions of all the upcoming content that we do have here on Dragon Ball Legends. We are under currently undergoing an 80 million user celebration. Massive milestone, by the way. Huge, considering we were only at 70 million just a couple of months ago. Um, 10 new million players into the game here. Post anniversary, we're gonna cool down. They spice up this campaign. Probably one of the best arcs in all of Dragon Ball, the franchise. First time Super Saiyan Goku. Frieza just being one of the best villains ever. My fav favorite personal villain, right? I didn't really expect any of these from this reveals and stuff personally. Ginyu Force. They not only teased the Ginyu Force on Twitter days before, so we already knew they were coming. But that was it? Bro, what was the... The most underwhelming trash reveals and stuff of all time? Bro, I am I am at a loss for words, man. Yes, it is very unique. I actually don't have a problem with any of the characters. Do not get me mis uh do not be misinformed. I am honestly, I think the units are super unique and dope, and I'm down for it. But it wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough. You guys, it's so lazy, bro. It is literally so I get it. If you guys didn't want to drop an ultra, fine. They could have given us an LF, bro. Like, they could have given us something, a little something else. Like, Ginyu Force ain't carrying the celebration. This might be the most underselled, underperforming banner of all time. Bro, the people that play this game daily, dog, don't care about this. Dude. Bro, we're going to go on to the tweet of the official Legends Twitter page right here. This is a post that they just released. And more than half the player base, right? We have, how many votes is that? 20,000 votes are dissatisfied with the content here or the reveals and stuff specifically, right? I'm not sure um, how people feel about the units. Obviously, more or less, I think people are don't actually care too much about the Ginyu Force, which is kind of like understandable. It's like a downtime. The tag units are a cool concept, whatever. I'm going to get into why you guys shouldn't summon on the banner in a second, by the way. Drop a like and a sub if you guys are new. But quick rant. Reveals and stuff is probably the, one of the worst that I've seen in a long time. And keep in mind, I stream cover every single reveals and stuff on drop. I'm here for every new character, every drop in this game. I've been playing since day one, and this shit was just ass, bro. Um, no hype at all. You could tell it was very, you know, events, very rehashed events, you know, stargated events, you know, those where you need those certain stars to even play in the events, type B, scams us back. Bonanza doesn't really do anything, dude. Um, that was just, just such an unhyped sell, like, 80 million users playing Dragon Ball Legends, and you guys give us this? Bro, oh my god. But, yes, we are getting a free-to-play. Free-to-play, or no, 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 not free-to-play. It might as well be free-to-play, right? We are getting a Ginyu Force team. I just want to show you, but we're getting this frog. We are getting the frog, that is true. We are getting a brand-new Captain Ginyu alongside Tag Guldo. And Raccoon alongside a tag Jace and Birder. So, yeah, I'm gonna be letting you guys know why not to summon. This guy is has a chance to revive, bro. He's the main character. He's probably gonna be the best one, to be honest. He's gonna be the best character out of all of them, is what I'm assuming, right? He is the captain. He's like, he's dope. I think it's unique to have these guys in the game, right? They they lock his main like revival mechanic right to transform into uh goku ginyu right behind percent odds dude if you guys haven't seen the reveals and stuff so basically he has a 30 percent chance to revive and then you can increase the odds of him reviving if you like undergo certain um plays in the game like if you pop a blue or your main ability and stuff like that you can increase the chances i believe to 100 percent. but still rng base you might not even revive basically you might have this you might not even revive bro oh my god bro there's no lf right i don't know if they're gonna be doing a step up or not a step up either way you should not summon on this banner you know why because ginyu force will not last they do not have any zenkai buffers that's one they barely have little to none zenkai buffers um they're two tag units that require 
most of the Zen or um, the tag units in this game do require Zenkai buffers. If you don't already know, they're all not very uh, can't take damage well. They're healing units. They're normally healing units that can you know, tag swap, heal, whatever to be a little bit durable. Zenkai buffs are optimal on tag switch characters. However, it's a full team. You know, this banner is going to have a full team for you technically, right? It's only three characters, even though the Ginyu Force is five, um, you know. I'm just going to let you guys know RNG Ginyu is not going to break the game with units like UVB and Go Freeze and running around. It's fun. You know, it's definitely unique. It's fun. Please do not waste your crystals. Oh, show, bro. Don't waste your... I'm going to be telling you guys not to summon. Bro, people are already not going to summon. I promise you, me telling people not to summon is not even going to change the fact that people are not going to summon on this shit. Me personally, being a creator, watch the video, watch the stream, live stream. We will be summoning. Um, I'm going to have a blast with them personally. Like, I think it's going to be unique and funny as hell, whatever. I'm not hating on the characters. I just think it's a waste that they didn't build up this hype like they should have. <laughs> Do not summon on RNG Ginyu. Not summon on the tag units that are going to last maybe during this arc or boosted series or whatever. Because VB is still going to destroy them. Go Frieza. I believe one of the tag units are supposed to counter color the Go Frieza or whatever. They have like a certain mechanic that counters them. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to be that broken or busted or whatever. I could be wrong. And the, go, the Ginyu Force is like literally broken off the charts. Then you guys come back to this video and flame me. Whatever. But um, yeah, you guys, I don't, you know, they could have, bro, it's Vegeta's birthday today. We could have got this Vegeta as like a sparking or an LF or something, bro. Bro, uh, I mean, we are getting a new EX Gohan, potentially. There is a new Gohan in the teaser for the, you know, the Ginyu Force, whatever. Um, we could have got that. There's not too many Vegetas here. Uh, Namek Goku. We don't have a standalone LF Namek Goku, by the way. The only LF Namek Goku is a transforming one. To have a standalone one would have been sick. You know, it is the Ultra. I said we didn't get a Zenkai for the full power Frieza. We didn't get a Zenkai for this Goku. This is an L... Overall, whatever, we still have yet to see what is upcoming within the next couple of weeks. Toshi did say on this reveals that um, there might be not be an ultra or there, you know, they're not going to drop an ultra every single campaign. Me personally, they want to make money, right? <laughs> they want to make money. That's the biggest incentive of the game. They don't really care about, um, oh, we're trying to give you guys a cool down. You know what I'm saying? There's not always going to be the biggest blah, blah, blah. Bro, people are not even going to be summoning on this. Y'all think that they're really going to skip out on money? On an Ultra or LF character, there is one coming. We just don't know if it's going to be a part of this um, Frieza Saga campaign. Let me know what you guys think. Is Tosi just debating us or is he not? I still think Ultra Frieza is coming next. Me personally, it's literally the Frieza Saga campaign. Ultra Frieza is coming. Uh, missed opportunity for the name of Goku personally, but I guess they'll do it some other time. Uh, Ginyu Force. Number two. We can do this. Let's do it together. I just don't see a long viability or jevity for these units that have very limited taggings and, you know, Frieza Force. Yeah, Frieza Force, they're carried by Go Frieza. It'll be a decent team. It's just, I don't see them being meta, meta breaking or anything like that. So just don't waste your guys' crystals. And this was a more or less a rant to not give the game any money or crystals when there's an Ultra and LF potentially around the corner. These 1% sparking units are going to... I mean, you see all the 1% on, like, every banner, right? The ones that came out on the anniversary, the ones that came out, like, recently on Sal's banner, right? They're good. They're solid units. But are they anything into in comparison to the LFs or the Ultras or whatever? There are some solid ones that make the teams for sure. But the Ginyu Force, I promise you guys, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong. I want these guys to be literally so great. But, dude, a, a unit's revival literally depending on RNG is insane, man. Uh, we're going to see their full kit soon. We did get a preview over on the live stream, but don't waste your guys' crystals on this banner. I'm just giving you a warning. Um, as a veteran player, this is not the banner to be summoning on three 1% troll units. I will be personally trolling. If you guys enjoy that content, make sure to check out the live, the new summoning characters. By the way, they might actually drop a day early. They usually drop on Tuesday nights, Wednesday mornings. It's apparently happening tonight. I don't see a shop maintenance, so I'm not entirely sure. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Are you hyped for this character? Like, are you hyped for the Guinea Force? It's cool. Cool characters. L celebration so far. Like, they did like a whole 180. Like, I was hyped for this reveals and stuff. And they just... 
the whole is this it we're in shambles bro i'll see you guys in the very next one stay frosty you know